this Goku right here, y'all. Wow. Wow, I would love... Oh, I would love... Oh, oh. Bro. Bro. What's good, buddy? It is your boy, Cal, back with another Xenoverse 2 video for you guys. Uh, hey. We are here to take a look at the true anime graphic mod on Xenoverse 2 once again. And this is truly the direction... I would love to see Bandai and Dimps going if we were to ever get a graphical update on Xenoverse 2. Like, if we were to ever get a graphical update for this game, or if and when Xenoverse 3 does happen, this is the graphical direction I would truly love them to take. And it was something done by one lone modder. The homie some modern 94 huge huge shout out to him his youtube and his patreon will be linked down below in the description and on his patreon there's actually access to some of these models that you guys will see right here in this video so again be sure to check them out the more love we show this man i'm assuming the more love and effort he's able to put into this anime mod or anime graphic mod i should say on xenoverse 2 because this thing is absolutely amazing so again be sure to show him some love and also so be sure to smash up the like button on this video and subscribe if you are new. Now before we get into it, he does have a couple of notes for us. As you see right here, he says, Note, before showing the new characters I've been working on, uh, I wanted to remind you guys that these will always improve. Right now they look decent for a video of this kind, but they are not done at all. You will definitely see some unfinished models here, but wanted to show what can be possible. Now he has another one right here where he says, I also made different versions of the same characters because the anime has different animators. So my work can be based on a part, uh, be based on a particular style or even more than one. This can affect the color, shadows, or shape of the model of the actual characters. Now, the last note is right here. He says, you will see what I'm talking about once you watch this showcase. Anyways, that was a lot of writing, but thanks for reading. Now to the juicy part of the video and the reason you are here. Hope you enjoy the new care, how the new characters are looking so far. And with that being said, let's jump into it ourselves. And we're starting it off with Kid Goku, a character that's not even in Xenoverse 2. My man has put together a true anime graphic model for him right here. And it does look pretty damn good. I cannot lie. Like, when you look at some of these models, you'll be like, damn, is this Xenoverse 2? Like, that's how it really feels. Now, this Grade 8 Vegeta one, you could definitely see the direction of it. But I do feel like it still needs some work. I feel like this is probably one of those ones that is on the unfinished side. Like, the pants and the, the, the search, uh, shirt sleeves look a little undone to me. But you can definitely see the direction that he's going with with grade 8 Vegeta without a doubt. Now Frieza, I mean Frieza looks amazing y'all. I mean look at this man. He is looking absolutely amazing. Now this one confuses me a little bit right here. It looks like the shade of his chest and like kind of stomach area changes a little bit. I don't necessarily know why. Maybe it's where he's at on the map or something like that. But again Frieza is looking amazing without a doubt. Now Trunks I feel is definitely one of those characters that is still definitely in progress in terms of being worked on like he has you can see again the direction similar to like the grade 8 vegeta oh my goodness the aura i like how the aura is very first of all i like the aura because it's very you know nostalgic of old dbz right but then also how it actually changes their colors and the lighting and shading on their colors how it does in the anime he's getting that in the actual game and mod as well which is just insane like, that is crazy to me, the fact that he's able to make this possible in Xenoverse 2. Like, this stuff is not something that I thought a regular modder or somebody who was not part of the dev team would actually be able to put together, but he has. Now we get a first look at Cell 2, I believe. I don't think we saw Cell in the past video, and Cell looks pretty damn good. I cannot lie, like, his model looks very, very clean overall. I don't know what's going on with his leg, like, his leg keeps jittering over here for some reason. Like, look, you see his legs jittering? I, I don't know what's going on with that, but he does look good. Okay, now with the Super Saiyan aura again, I like how it's changing the shading of the actual character models with the aura itself. Now, I will say maybe Cells needs to be extended a little bit more up top because you can see, like, his headpiece is coming out of it. It doesn't necessarily fit to his body. But again, you see the potential with this, uh, the aura and the model is absolutely amazing. Now, Super Saiyan 3 Goku looks fire. I cannot lie. I saw this one in the last video, and wow, he, he's here again, and he just looks amazing. The face, the hair, the, the shading from the aura, like, he looks fire, my boys. Oh, my goodness. I would love to actually have this on Xenoverse 2. Okay, we got a first look at Super Boo for the first time right here. Um, I would say he looks pretty good 
overall, I mean, nothing too crazy. Like, I don't feel like he's nearly as good as, like, Frieza or anything like that. But he's definitely a pretty good model at the same time. Like, he looks very accurate to me. But Frieza, for some reason, just looked amazing out of all the villains so far. Oh, my lord, though. GT Goku looks legit, my boys. Wow. Wow, he looks good. Wow. That one's kind of mind-blowing, man. To be able to do that is insane. Kid Goku looks pretty good, too, from GT. I'm not going to lie. The facial mod, uh, facial features with the little smile, the way the hair looks. Okay. Okay. Now, we already seen the order. Oh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is next. Now, I will say, I think Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta looks a little bit better than Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which we did get a look at. I'll put up a screenshot of him on the uh, on the screen for you guys right now so you can see him, right? But I think Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta looks better between the two. Let me know how you feel about that down below in the comments between these two characters. Because I think Goku still needs a little bit work in like the facial features. But Gogeta looks very good. Now, I will say maybe Gogeta's fur could be improved upon. But Gogeta does look very good. I like the, the style that he's in right here. Who's next? Okay, we got Beerus next. This should be interesting. I haven't seen Beerus yet. I, the, the face is just much more anime accurate, I feel like, with Be Oh, the aura! Oh, my God! Bro, the aura work. That is crazy. That is some true God of Destruction aura right there, man. That looks great. Oh, my. Go the Gokus he has look all look good. Like, all the Goku models look damn good. Like, look at this Goku right here, y'all. Wow. Wow, I would love... Oh, I would love... Oh, oh. Bro, bro, I would love this to be the replacement. Like, if this was what we got in Xenoverse 2, or really Xenoverse 3, because like I said earlier, it's not possible for Xenoverse 2. I don't see that happening. But if it was like something for Xenoverse 3 or a next-gen upgrade of Xenoverse 2, oh my god, this should definitely be the direction graphically for Xenoverse 3. Oh, look at that aura. Oh my, no, come on. Come on, that is beautiful. That that is beau that is beautiful. Look at Goku, my boys. Bro, the Goku models are probably some of the best. Like, I feel like he probably started with Goku because it's Goku. Uh, bro, the gi on this one, the the oh, oh, this is insanity. This is insanity. Look how good that looks. Look how good that looks. Oh, I want this. I want this. I want this. I want this. Bandai Dimps, please, 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 please. Let this be the graphical direction of a Xenoverse 3. My goodness. My, bro. This, this, this is, this is what we need, my boys. This is what we need. Look at that aura. Look at the aura. Look at the face. Look at the everything. Oh, yo. Wow. Wow. Oh, Vegeta looking pretty good, too. The nose from straight ahead, when you're, like, straight ahead, it looks a little weird. But when you get to the side angle, it seems to look better. Like, twist them a little bit, please. Please? Okay, we didn't get a twist. Bro, the auras, the auras that this man has done and how it, like, reshades them and all things like that, he is doing amazing work with the auras and the reshading of the characters when they have the auras on as well. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. Bro, his aura work is godlike. The aura work is insane. Oh, my boys. Oh, come on, man. What? Look at that Goku. Bro, I, I, like I said through this video, the Goku work is insane, dude. Look at it. Oh, bro, I could pause that and just look at that all day. I could look at the way the facial features. The, wow, dude. Wow. Okay, another Jiren one. I thought we was going to get MUI Goku, but I guess we get another Jiren one. Now, this one does look a little bit different. He looks a little bit more, like, reddish, and you see the shading on him change right there? So, hold on. So, we got this one. This one doesn't look as, like, red. You know what I mean? Like, you see that, and then you go here. He looks a little bit more red here. Maybe it's just me. Oof! Oof! We did get to see MUI Goku, and my goodness. I mean, bro... I mean, come on. Again, clap it up for the man, some modern 94, because this, this is, this is beyond amazing, y'all. This is beyond amazing, man. A a and again, some of these are available for you to check out yourself on Patreon. I have looked at them. I don't believe. 
the super like super saiyan blue goku or ultra instinct goku or any of these are available i believe it's like super saiyan gogeta um broly um i forgot i would have to relook re and check on patreon but best believe i will be signing up to the man's patreon without a doubt because i would love to actually see how it feels to play with the characters looking like this man because these models and the, what he is doing graphically for these characters i mean bro look at that look at that my boys Tell me you would not love this in Xenoverse 2 or, again, like I said, really more of a Xenoverse 3 type of thing. Like, I truly think this should be the direction that they try to go with the graphic style because this right here, I mean, man, man, it looks so good. Let me know what you guys think, though, down below in the comments about these true anime graphic or this true anime graphic mod right here that the man submodder is putting together for the community because this is beyond amazing in my opinion. I truly think he has done some incredible, incredible work with these mods, these graphics, the textures, the models, all things like that. Like whatever he is doing to these things, it is insane my boys so let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comments do you feel like i do about it and are you absolutely loving this and loving seeing all these different models on xenoverse 2 and what the potential truly is on this game in terms of how characters could look let me know down below how you feel about all that but till next time man thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed and as always hope you have a good one hey y'all